The coronavirus pandemic brought the world to a standstill. Commercial aviation was significantly affected. Two thirds of the world airplanes, that is over 16,000 passenger airplanes, were grounded. Airliners with multiple engines have been retired by airlines in an attempt to reduce costs. In May 2020, Indian aviation, like much of the world, took its first step towards normality. Let us take a look at the new normal for the aviation industry and for passengers like you and me. After being grounded since March 25, 2020, domestic air travel in India resumed on May 25, the same year. International flights resumed on July 17, 2020, as India established air bubble agreements with France and the United States of America. India's Ministry of Civil Aviation defines an air bubble agreement, also known as travel corridors, as a temporary agreement between two countries aimed at restarting commercial passenger services when regular international flights are suspended as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. They are reciprocal in nature, meaning airlines from both countries enjoy similar benefits. These bubbles are created to connect countries or states that have successfully contained or even eliminated the coronavirus domestically. As of December 2020, India has air bubble agreements with over 20 countries. New rules and regulations were introduced to ensure the safety of the passengers and all staff involved. If you thought flying was tedious before, wait till you hear about the new rules and regulations. Please note the information presented here is correct as of December 2020. Due to the ongoing pandemic, the rules and regulations are subject to change based on the situation here in India or in other countries. These rules and regulations are from the authorities, airlines and airports based in India. Local rules and regulations may vary if you are residing outside India. Well, with that out of the way, let us take a look at the new rules and regulations. Before entering the terminal, the passengers' luggage are scanned and sprayed with disinfectant. This is followed by a thermal screening of the passengers. Once inside the terminal, passengers and staff maintain social distancing. For passengers flying domestic, that is within India, online check-in is recommended. Anyone who wants to be checked in by the staff needs to pay a small fee. The passengers only proceed to the counter to drop their bags. It is mandatory for passengers to fill in the self-declaration form in the Arogya Setu app before their flight. As of December 2020, it is mandatory for passengers arriving from certain states to undergo the PCR test at least 72 hours prior to their flight. The report must be negative for the SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus responsible for this pandemic. For international flights, passengers can check in online, but will need to collect their boarding pass at the counter after the airline representative has checked all the documents required by the airline and at the destination. As for regulations, um, it's a little more complicated. Each country have their own regulations which are subject to change. But the rule of thumb is you definitely need a negative PCR test certificate. Oh, and be prepared to fill multiple self-declaration health forms. This is done to help the airline in tracking passengers in case any passenger on board tests positive for COVID-19. Some countries may also ask passengers to download an app that can track them during their stay at the destination. Failure to comply with these new regulations can result in the airline not allowing the passenger to fly. The security check takes longer than usual due to social distancing. 
at the gates most if not all duty free shops are closed the seats have stickers reminding passengers to maintain social distancing passengers are not allowed to sit on the seats with the sticker on it it's really eerie to see one of the busiest airports in india so quiet you know shops are closed i mean there are hardly any passengers gates are closed seats you have these uh, boards saying do not sit here just to maintain social distancing but yeah I mean, but we are bouncing back the fact that i'm flying right now that's a good sign we are bouncing back and soon uh, bangalore will be one of the busiest airports in india again the airline provides a personal protective equipment kit or a ppe kit to all passengers the ppe kit typically consists of a mask sanitizers gloves and a face shield The airports have placed multiple biohazard bins across the terminal where passengers can safely dispose of their PPE. On the aircraft, the cabin crew have their full body PPE. This makes communication difficult as it is hard to hear what is being communicated. A word of advice, please wear the mask the airline provides you in the PPE kit. Due to the thick cloth mask I was wearing, I had trouble breathing. The face shield made it difficult to adjust the mask. Domestic flights may not serve food at all while on international flights onboard service is reduced Prepacked meals will be served in order to avoid contact and prevent the transmission of germs After landing at the destination, passengers on a domestic flight would just collect their bags and exit the terminal. Passengers on an international flight, well, the rules and regulations vary and it depends on the country they have just arrived in. Some countries make it mandatory for passengers to take another PCR test on arrival at the airport. The passengers will need to quarantine themselves at the hotel or place of stay until the results of the PCR test is out. If negative, the passengers are free to move about with the mask of course. If the test comes back positive, the passengers will have to quarantine themselves for another 14 days. At the immigration, the passengers will be asked to submit a health declaration form that will invariably ask for the passenger's local address and phone numbers. This will help in contacting the passengers on a flight. if in case anyone tests positive for covid-19 many countries do not allow passengers to transit or transfer to another flight some countries allow it if the passenger is flying to another destination within the country while other countries allow it on the condition that the passenger quarantines themselves for 14 days at the first point of arrival and then fly onward Well, this may be overwhelming and perhaps frustrating. Here is my advice to make your travel as smooth as possible during the pandemic. Do your research, start early and keep updating yourselves with the rules and regulations. It is important that you are aware of the requirements set by the airline and the country you're visiting. While at the airport, Please be patient with the staff assisting you as they themselves are overwhelmed with the ever changing rules and regulations. They may take longer than usual to ensure that all the criteria have been met before handing you your boarding pass.
Ideally, it is best to avoid flying during the pandemic. Well, if you must fly during the pandemic, be prepared and stay safe. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please let me know by hitting the like button and by dropping a line in the comment section. If you enjoy documentaries in general, do consider subscribing. Well, until my next video, stay safe and I'll see you soon.